The Florida shooting draws outrage. Gun shows continue even here in Georgia. The Eastman gun show has been going on all weekend long and 11 Lives Bill List joins us live from Marietta. And uh, Bill, I know they're supposed to open very soon and start the sales. They're going to be opening at about 10 o'clock this morning, Faith. And you know, very popular in Georgia are gun shows and boat shows but now all equally popular here and the auto shows of course too but these gun shows have become very popular in georgia this one's going up here in marietta and what makes them so popular too is the liberal laws in georgia which allow people to come in buy these guns and literally walk out with them but a the most important part of the whole thing are the background checks we spoke to a number of dealers here as they were coming in because the show doesn't open until 10 o'clock none of them would go on camera but they all stressed about the background checks now this is not the only show that's going on in georgia right now if you take a look at this chart that we have that's rolling down right now, you'll see that there are several of them going on all over the state of Georgia. They'll be going on through the spring, into the summer, into the fall. They are very, very popular. Now, a favorite on sale, with more than 5 million having been sold already, is the AR-15. Now, this one was modified for civilian use, originally a, a military weapon. It's not an automatic weapon, but it does have magazines that can hold up to 30 rounds of ammunition. Now, these were the guns that we used by mass shooters in Aurora, Las Vegas, Sandy Hook, the Texas Church, San Bernardino, and most recently in Parkland, Florida. But it, are the, it is the gun laws here in Georgia that are allowing people to come in, attend these shows, and in fact, leave with a weapon, the AR-15 being one of them. There is no license required to carry it. You can carry that gun as long as it, it's open and it can be seen. But the most important thing to stress is this background check. You can see it's very detailed, it's very involved, and these dealers are very particular in taking great attention to make sure that nobody walks out with a gun until they are a number one an adult over the age of 18 and this check goes through it also goes to the federal government it has to be cleared through a number of channels then it comes back then the person leaves with a gun but before that nobody walks out of this store carrying a weapon this show starts in about 15 minutes it'll continue on until four o'clock this afternoon reporting live from marietta bill liss 11 Alive News. And of course, that background check bill was just talking about part of the larger debate about gun control in this country. Of course, um, I'm thinking as people head out there, it will be part of the conversation there as well on what to do.